Hello Zhang, thank you for Hi. coming today. Uh, I really appreciate uh, for spending time with us. First of all, uh, could you introduce yourself a little bit? My name is Zhang. I'm the Secretary General of Vietnam Software and IT Services Association. So, um, could you introduce uh, uh, briefly about the IT market in Vietnam and maybe give us some number about uh, the market? In Vietnam, uh, IT is uh, one of the fastest uh, industry having very fast growth rate. During the past 10 years, the growth rate of the industry is uh, from 10 to 25 percent. Mm. Last year, uh, the revenue of the industry is more than 96 billion US oh. dollar. Of course, it's mostly come from the hardware, mm. but for software, the revenue of the software industry last year is 9.7 oh, billion okay. US dollar. Okay. In Vietnam, the most advantage the industry is about the human resource. Mm. Now, well, we have uh, more than 250 20,000 software engineers. Ah, oh, it's great. Yes, as I here mentioned, now, software and IT is the first choice of, mm. the, of the good students, mm. of the good people mm. well, when they choose their uh, universities. Mm -hmm. Regarding the market, mm. now in Vietnam, I think the market is very big. Mm. Uh, we have the market of now more than 96 uh, mm. million people. Ah. And uh, as you know, 65% of the population is under 35. Oh, so we have a golden generation, yeah. Right? Now, um, some of the solutions of, of the IT business mm -hmm. will be in the big need in Vietnam. Uh, all the solutions for the digital government, mm -hmm. for smart cities, and now also digital transformation is uh, one of the very hot keywords in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. In the 3rd of June, the government of Vietnam just uh, issues the, gen uh, the national uh, program on digital transformation to the uh, year 2025 mm -hmm. and orient to the year 2030. Oh, 2030. Yes. So I think uh, with that uh, big market, uh, there will be huge mm. cooperation opportunities mm. for the software company or IT companies in Vietnam with the partner over the world. Oh, I see. Yeah. As you know that the COVID-19 pandemic is of course all, all over the world and there are so many impact to the people, to the life and also to the world. So could you uh, describe uh, about the impact, the NEP impact of the coronavirus uh, to the IT uh, market in Vietnam? As we can see that uh, the pandemic has impact on um, all the way we live, we study, we work. For the IT industry in Vietnam, the part of the pandemic, so we work from home, we study online, Mm -hmm. uh, we do online shopping in some ways comparing with other business like uh, the airway or motel or tourism. Yeah. The IT industry is now still in good condition because of the pandemic. Many people still need to keep the business in uh, their good way. The need to use the uh, IT, the software solutions mm. to keep their business going on well is rising very fast. Oh. When we uh, have a small survey with our member companies, oh. for some companies, their business is even getting better by using the, the uh, IT solutions. Oh. Normally, they just sell their stuff on mm, other shop, mm. but during the pandemic, all the shop had to be closed. Mm. They use the yes, online solution to mm. sell the products. Mm. Our member company who providing the IT services mm. for international partners or local partners for the small and, and medium uh, business, they have some kind of impact because as you know that um, now if the partner or the customer have uh, difficulties, yeah. then of course it will influence the company who provide the services mm. for that. Okay. The company who provide the services to big customer, mm. they are still in good business. Uh -huh. yeah. So do you have any, uh, the number like how many percent of the company uh, have the impact uh, from the COVID-19 uh, pandemic? Based on the information mm. from our survey to the member, about less than 10% of mm. our member company have best in, in impact 
Oh. By the pandemic. Mm. Okay, so that is the story in the local market. Uh, that means the IT company will serve for the local companies. But how about the IT company serving for the uh, global market? Uh, because uh, right now we have many barriers uh, in the border because we cannot fly to other country. So can you give us some information about that? For her the company who are now providing services for, for global partners. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. visa is not provided oh, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, um, the traveling to countries is very uh, limited. So how Vietnamese companies still can uh, support the customer yeah. to, uh, in, in that business? I think based on the conversation with our member companies, yeah, many of them have to change not only themselves but also the customer have to change the way they, they do business mm -hmm. they will need to have a more online meeting mm -hmm. a more discussion mm -hmm. because of I the so. gap between the distance mm -hmm. they still find a way to adapt working from distance mm -hmm. so the working style is uh, also change. Mm. People working all together in one place, it is mm. very easy to discuss mm -hmm. directly to the uh, people from mm. uh, partners company. But now they have to use uh, many kind of uh, conference call or chatting. Yeah. And in some way, uh, the business is still going well okay. and also can help the customer or the partner to save a lot of costs. Mm. 